So something that I have been wanting to do for a while and it just, um, one evening I was laying in bed, getting ready to go to sleep. My mind goes all over the place whenever it's a bedtime. Um, I think a lot of people are like that, but I was like, why don't you do that video that you've been planning on doing the, um, this one so that is what we're going to do so in this video um what we're going to be doing is planning five meals for um my family of six so five dinners for as i was going to do a hundred dollars but i think um i've looked into a couple of things already so i think we're going to do closer to 50 and try to keep it as close to 50 as possible might be 55 might be 60 i don't know we'll sh i'll share that when we get there but i would really like it to be around ten dollars or less per meal so we're gonna do that it will be simpler things so um there's not gonna be a whole bunch of like fresh produce and all that because let's be honest stuff like that is expensive and when you're just trying to feed your family and you know get a meal on the table for the most part that's gonna be the last thing on your mind um i know during hard times you're not worried about um fresh Per se, you're just worried about feeding your family, especially if you have kids. Um, so that is what we're gonna do. And if you're not into that kind of thing, and if you just prefer, you know, to always have fresh produce, um, and your kids are not picky eaters, then maybe this video ain't for you. But this is for the real life. I mean, you're real life too. But you know, the people that your kids are really picky and they prefer junk and just the whole they'll eat it or they'll starve thing we don't do that around here we've never done that um, if i'm you cannot force me to eat something no all 33 years of me the more you try to force me to eat something or do something the more likely i am to not do it and um so i'm not going to force my children into eating something so typically our rule is if i make something and you don't like it you find yourself something or usually I will just throw something quick in the oven or whatever so that we can all eat but here lately it's been more of the if you don't like what I cook find yourself something but anyways these will be simple kid-friendly meals because we got some kids and most people especially if you're struggling I think you have kids because it's it's usually easier to feed one person so this video I've just really been wanting to do it since you know I've been seeing on like TikTok and YouTube, usually mostly TikTok, um, of people mentioning that, you know, it's getting hard for them and being able to feed their kids and pay their bills. And I just, something has been, I don't know, I've been wanting to do this just to share ideas and to kind of challenge myself. It doesn't matter what tax bracket you're, well, some people don't care, but for the most part, us down here, um, you know, we all like to save money. So, thought if this is a hit what is that don't want to know um if this kind of thing is a hit we might do this once a month or whatever one i don't know um but we'll see how it goes but if not it's a fun experiment for at least my family and i'm sure i'll have a few people that want to watch it so what we're going to do is i'm going to use the app i don't shop online well for groceries i go into the store but i'm going to plan out my meals and then um add everything to the walmart app like I'm just shopping online and that way I can kind of see where I'm at for total and then we will share the meal plan we'll go shopping and I will share all of those meals with you these will all be a kid friendly we'll try to have at least a vegetable in there um canned for the most part because they're just much cheaper they're more realistic I guess when you're in a hurry and just they're pantry stable staple stable they're pantry stable all of that um, this will include no ground beef because like I said, we got some picky kids around here, mainly one, and one of them will not eat ground beef and we're trying to feed everyone so family approved meals with this. So we're going to throw together a menu, figure this out, and then we will share everything with you, go shopping, and then share the meals and hopefully the store has everything that we need because that always can mess with the dynamic of stuff so to speak so i'm going to plan the meals out i'll share them so we got the meals planned for the most part not for the most part we've got the meals planned i guess as long as the 
store cooperates when we get there. We got the meals planned. Okay, so the meals for this week, we will be having a barbecue chicken patty sandwiches with macaroni and cheese, pizza casserole with salad, sweet and sour chicken with soy potatoes and peas, KFC bowls, country fried chicken, potatoes, and green beans. All right, so that took way longer than even I thought it was going to because I was writing stuff down and adding it up and I was like, maybe I could do this cheaper. So I would go back and look and see if I could do it cheaper. It's actually kind of, I don't know, exciting. This is 33, um, but it was kind of exciting to go back and see how cheap I could get it or how I could change stuff around a little bit. Like I had to buy a large quantity of it, like popcorn chicken, we, my kids don't like the great value one. They just, I don't know, what's the, who do the kids do? Cause they buy it from the deli all the time. Anyways, there's just something about the shape. I don't know if that's it, but where it just looks, I don't, I don't know the logic behind it, but they won't eat it hardly at all. So we could have saved money there, but instead I went with Tyson, got the big bag for $10. And so we broke that down to be two meals. Um, another thing with it is to make sure that you know it's not meat focused meals because it gets crazy when it's like that so we did all that and then there's a couple of things that i just changed around and moved around because it just made sense and was cheaper a different way um and they're playing this with nothing like not planning on using anything at the house because i don't know the circumstances of people i don't know what you have in the refrigerator what you don't so I planned this with having nothing, zero of anything at home. Um, that way, you know, if you gotta buy all these, you don't have to put into account for that. So if you don't have to buy the things like soy sauce, ranch dressing, um, if you had a cheese grater, then you could save a little bit of money and grade your own cheese. And personally, I think it tastes better. Um, so stuff like that, you could save money. Did I say ranch dressing, barbecue sauce, just all of that stuff. You know, a lot of people already have stuff like that in the refrigerator. And so that could save you money. But I was basing this off of if you had nothing. And it's kind of fun. So now the real struggle will be going to the store and buying everything as listed. That way I can save the maximum amount of money. So, excuse me. So now the next step is going to the grocery store, grabbing everything we need. We'll break it down as we make each meal. not to do a full haul because I did just include this with um, my large grocery haul um, so I did still want to share the receipt though we spent $53.23 it was a little bit more than I planned because a couple of things changed they didn't have um, a couple of the things I was wanting so I spent more on those items etc but i think we still done pretty good for a week so we will share as the week goes on and show how everything comes together all right so we did end up buying a cheaper chicken patty we saved about two i mean like four dollars maybe um, so we did get these to try and then we got this barbecue sauce now you could leave out the barbecue sauce and the cheese if you wanted it to be even cheaper have to buy the cheese anyways but it just you know it added to it that's for sure so we're going to also do a macaroni and cheese here this is the one that you don't add nothing to but the cheese packet um, because like i said we was basing this off of having nothing at home so you just bowl the noodles add the cheese you know the drill maybe most likely you do um so we're going to get these throw together super simple 
and we'll see if they're delicious. We're gonna add just a sprinkle of this on top because like I said, we're pretending that we have nothing. So you could use slices if you want it because a lot of times people will have stuff like that on a hand. Okay, so we got the noodles here. Well, they're getting there anyways for the macaroni. And then the chicken patties for the sandwiches. We've never tried these banquet brand ones. They was cheaper, so we're gonna give them a try. If they're not the best, it's probably nothing a little barbecue sauce can't fix. So now in a bowl, just to make it like more evenly distributed. Is it my food? Yep. Really? Not, not far from a hundred. Just the last, oh total, like yeah, for the whole years. How time at that spot? And since I forgot to actually get a video of this and was too worried about taking a picture, this was the final product. It was actually a pretty good meal. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be the healthiest, yada yada, we already covered that. That's not what we're worried about at this moment, if we are ever truly. Um, but this was really good. Adding some bacon, some lettuce, pickles, all that would be even better. But we were trying to keep this as cheap and simple as possible. Maybe next time though. Okay, so tonight we're gonna have that um, pizza casserole. Now I bought stuff to be able to make two because I was worried that one, worried? Worried that one would not be enough. So I bought two pizza crusts and then the big sauce. So that made me spend uh, over a dollar more, probably like a dollar fifty, because I did think that we was gonna have to have two of these. We're only gonna do one. Mail. So you could have saved, you know, I could have saved money if I would have based it on just one, but I was worried that one would not be enough. But this, all this is for the pizza casserole and then the salad, of course, just super quick and easy. This needs water and oil. And what I did is I just bought some cheap margarine to use in place of oil and just to have butter when we have potatoes and such. So... We're gonna go ahead and throw this all together. All right, so we melted the margarine and we're gonna pour in the, whatever this is, the crust and then half a cup of hot water. And just give this a mix. We're gonna take, we are going to take about a tablespoon of that margarine and rub it around in here. That way our casserole doesn't stick. And I forgot to mention that with the pizza crust, we added one tablespoon of margarine and melted it. And then we used double the water, so we used one cup of hot water. Now, we're going to put this in this buttered dish. What, Lil? You said hey. And then we're gonna put this in the oven and cook this for about 10 minutes. 15 minutes, we'll check it at 10. And then we will take it out. All right, so we cooked it for 10 minutes. It's cooked enough. Might be a little bit more than I would have preferred it to be, but it's fine. I'm just gonna add some of the sauce on here. Cold out there, right? some of the pepperonis. That's just a thick one. Some of the cheese, a little bit more of the sauce. I 
thought this would be really good as that is a really thick pepperoni. Good with ham and pineapple as well, which is another one of some of our favorites. But this was the cheaper route, I think. Probably, because deli meat ham can be pretty expensive. And then the pepperonis was $2.14. So, you know, if you're not on a super strict budget, but you still want to save money, you could just play around with this, change it up. All right, now we're gonna put this. I'm gonna save some of this cheese for Wendy because she likes to use that for lunches. But we're gonna put this in the oven for 15 more minutes. All right, so here it is. It looks looks pretty good. It smells delicious. So we're gonna get it plated up, and we'll share that with you. This was definitely a win. They all was, but this one was really good, and this will definitely be made again. All right, so tonight we're doing the KFC bowls. Um, ended up spending more because I got, they didn't have the potatoes that I originally planned on getting, and I decided that a family size might be a better option. So, ended up spending more than we already thought we was going to. It's fine, but we got a bag of the buttery home style, and then we're gonna use just a little bit of this sharp cheddar to go on top. Um, and then our little brown gravy mix, can of corn, and then this is the popcorn chicken that we're gonna use. And then I did go ahead and grab some cheap biscuits. You could have omitted this and then saved the dollar forty whatever, and you know just bought that. But this was only a dollar forty more, and it adds, you know, it adds more to it. So, and you can't have KFC without a biscuit, even if it's not, not good homemade biscuits. But you know. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble one of these right, so put some mashed potatoes in here and then we're gonna add the chicken the popcorn chicken was huge pieces so I cut it up into bite size it'll go farther that way and you're not you know dealing with a big massive piece of chicken this we add some corn some cheese and then the gravy if you don't want to mix it all together you don't have to but you know this is my favorite way to eat it but there's some people who don't like their food all mixed together and there you go are almost burnt biscuits not really they're a little bit browner than I would have preferred but it's fine easy and delicious and cheap all right so I'm a little bit excited slash a little bit nervous about tonight's meal because these chicken patties are fairly thin um, so I wasn't sure if it would be like enough but this is a pack of ten and we've still got four from the other pack so if we need it we have plenty of them. Um, so that is why I'm nervous. But overall, I'm picturing this being a good, cheap, quick meal. All good things. Um, so we got these chicken patties that we're going to use for our chicken fried chicken. All we're going to do is cook them. Um, and then our gravy mix here. Green beans as a side. And then we're going to do these half of these potatoes as a side. Um, could have done mashed potatoes, but I just thought I was going to use this for a different recipe anyways. Might as well go ahead and use half of it for this meal as well. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to use this margarine to make sure that the potatoes don't stick. But I'm just going to throw this all together, get it done. One of Another one of the plus sides of this cheap meal is it's super fast. So even if you have um, like plans after in the evening or whatever, you can throw this together fairly simply. So that's another plus. But we're going to get it all thrown together and then we're going to see, plate it up. We'll taste it, see how it is. A little nervous, a little bit excited, but here we go. These tasted good, but I'm not a fan of the texture. Not when I wanted actual potatoes. They turned into more like chunky mashed potatoes. Not mad about it, but not super happy either. Ah! 
again this was really good um the walmart chicken patties are thicker so i think they would have paired better with this meal but all in all we're not mad about it i put the gravy over top of my potatoes it's pretty good okay so tonight for our fifth and final meal we're gonna have like the chinese at home inspired meal um I bought this corn for the pizza night and forgot about it. So we're going to also have that with this meal because there's not as much chicken here as I would have hoped. So we need it to be able to go as far as possible to feed us all. Um, we're, there is only five of us here tonight. So we got the chicken. We got the rest of these potatoes here. And then we're going to mix those potatoes with these peas. Um, I'm not going to fry these on the stove top. Yeah, I'm going to put these on a baking sheet. Ignore my dirty thing here. Um, I'm going to put these on a baking sheet because when I fried them, they like turned into mush and they tasted delicious. They just wasn't that pretty and they're not going to look the way I want them to look if they fall apart. If they do, no big deal. They're going to taste good, but we're going to at least attempt to make them look better this time. So we're going to cook these with the peas. We're going to... Good, good job. Um, or we're going to drain the peas. I'll share all that. And then we got this corn, but for the potatoes, we're going to use this soy sauce. And then this is going on the chicken to make it sweet and sour chicken. So let's get it going. I got the oven preheated to 350. I should have looked at the directions on here. It doesn't really show how to cook them in the stove. So maybe you're not supposed to. We don't care. We're going to put the half a bag of potatoes in here. Come on now. Nope, you're going to stay big because I ain't fighting with you. Now we're going to take some of the soy sauce here and pour it over the potatoes. When we go to the Chinese restaurant, they have something there. I don't know what it is. I just call it soy potatoes. Maybe that's what it is. But it's potatoes, onions, and green. No. Potatoes, onions, and peas. And they're like cut in little thin rounds. They are delicious. They're one of my favorite things. I get a plate full of those and wontons. Mind your business. But those are my two absolute favorite things at Chinese so um, I wanted to try to recreate those but since we figured that this would be the cheaper route than buying a bag of potatoes so that's what we did so we're just coating these really nicely hopefully not too much um, and then we're going to add in the peas that we have draining in the stove no no we do not we have draining in the sink so there's the peas should I add all of them might as well what we're going to do with half a can of peas. So, I'm just going to gently do it. And maybe I should have waited on the peas since they're already cooked. It's a learning experience for both of us. I'm sorry I can't hold the camera right because I didn't think to get out the tripod. I'll have to get it out before we do the chicken, maybe. Even though it's pretty self-explanatory. Let me get the tripod. Alright, so... We're going to grease our pan with some of this margarine. I was going to just spray it down with the cooking spray. And then I remember that part of this challenge was to only use stuff that we bought. Ignore the fact I'm using full paper. That didn't count. This is a food challenge. Okay. So. If I would have. What is going on? Um, if I would have thought that through, I probably wouldn't use the full paper either. But if anything, it helps hide my ugly pan. I mean, you totally can't see that, right? All right, so we got our potatoes. Them lumps really annoy me, but it's fine. Got our potatoes and peas mixed up. Now, does this look good? No, but that doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is if it tastes good. Does it? Well, I don't know. We'll see in about 20 minutes, I guess. I haven't even started the chicken, but it won't take that long to cook. Alright, so we're gonna we got our chicken cooked here. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. Alright, so now I'm gonna put on some of this sweet and sour. I think I'm going to go in with just a couple of drips of soy sauce too. Hopefully that doesn't ruin it. Let me get this corn off. 
that is done. it out tonight so I can finish editing it so we're doing this in Nolan's room because it's the quiet place in the house right now um it is bedtime chore time all that stuff so it's a little loud but like I said I didn't want to just take off um the video you know end it with showing that last meal which was really good by the way um but that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I was a little bit nervous about some of the food choices because I know there's going to, well, I think it's very possible that there'll be one or two people that's like, that's not healthy, yada, yada, yada. The point of this video was not healthy. It was not healthy meals. Um, if this is something I enjoy doing and people enjoy seeing, maybe we'll do a healthy, like as healthy as possible addition. This was just a get the family fed kind of meal on a super tight budget and that's what we did um and if this video can help one person well it was worth it if one person enjoys watching it it was worth it i enjoyed making it so in my opinion it was worth it um but yeah if you enjoyed it and you would like to see more of these let me know down below you can give me ideas um i don't know i really enjoyed just doing this style of video i used to do them i think way back i used to do like complete committed what's for dinner videos to where I would post um like three or four meals in a video um it does mess with my vlogging material because a big part of my vlogs are cooking dinners so I'm not sure about that but I did enjoy doing this nonetheless so if you enjoyed it or you would like me to do these again with different varieties let me know down below I'm already thinking about doing a beef edition but that would be tricky because we do have one non-beef eater, but we might just keep her out of the equation. Um, I am not doing these at this moment because I need to. So it is kind of tricky for me the way that I am filming them and doing them um, because these are more like for entertainment and educational purposes, not necessarily things that I have to do, if that makes sense. Um, so that does make it a little bit more tricky in my opinion, and I don't want to come off the camera's going off um so you can hear all that dinging i'm sorry but i don't want to come off as fake either if you're seeing say a video and i'm making rolls and you don't see them in the cooking videos i don't want to come off as fake but i'm not doing this um because i have to do it i'm just doing this for educational purposes for motivation and just inspiration i guess so um, i never want to come off as fake or like I'm lying or anything like that either. So I don't know. It was kind of tricky with me doing it this way this week, but it is something that I've thought about doing for for a very long time. And then like I said at the beginning, when I was laying in bed and it just come up to me, do that video that you've been needing or wanting to do, do that video. So we're doing that video and I hope that you got something out of it. Um, like I said, let me know down below if you enjoyed it, what your um some ideas or stuff that you would like to see. It doesn't necessarily have to be the budget plan. It can just be like a crock pot week or I don't know. I'm getting all kinds of ideas. I don't know if I'll stick with it because that's just, I'm an all or nothing kind of person. Um, but we are going to go ahead and close out this video. Thank you guys for sticking out this video and just experimenting with me and all of that. And we will see you all next time. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye guys.